Hey guys, I've been really enjoying the new Amiklik foundations. So I wanted to do a video showing you guys how I apply it, what it looks like. I figured I would also share and use some of my favorite black owned beauty products. So let's get into the video. Before we get into the makeup, I want to share this butter with you guys because it's what I have on my hands right now and it's amazing. It's from 54 Thrones. They do have a few different uh, scents. I definitely love their hand and body butters. We're going to jump right into the makeup. I'm going to start with my LYS bronzer contour stick. You guys know I love this stuff. I have been literally obsessed with this ever since I first got it. I have not put it down. It's been the only thing that I use. I love how creamy and how easy it just glides on. I also love the color. I think it's the perfect shade. I'm just going to blend this in. I'm actually on my way to get my nails done. I'm so excited. So I'm going to switch these out. I have no idea what I'm getting next. I, <laughs> I'm i kind of torn in between getting something very minimal, but I also kind of want to get something a little extra. So we'll see what I go with. I have like 25 pictures saved on my phone. I need to really narrow down within the next hour. So we're going to do some nose contour as well with the same bronzer slash contour. And just blend it out with this brush. It just does the job. We're going to get into the Ami Cole foundation sticks. I love these. I don't think I got to really share them with you during a video like this. But I've been using these for the past few weeks. And I've been really, really loving them. I have the shades 220 and also 240, I believe. And I kind of mix them. I feel like I get... A pretty good match when I mix them. I just love the way it applies. It's very skin like, very natural, but it gives such beautiful coverage. Oh my goodness, like it's amazing. It's not what I was expecting. It's amazing. And I'm not always the biggest fan of stick foundations. This one is one of my favorites, definitely, for sure. If I had to pick one shade, I would say 240, but I like mixing the two together. Do you see that? Like, look how that looks. Look. I'm gonna add some more right here. This is definitely one of my favorite foundations at the moment. It's been in my rotation. I have it in my everyday makeup drawer. I just really love the finish of it. It's beautiful. We're doing concealer. I'm using Fenty's new concealer. I forget what these are called. The uh or even concealers. These are my favorite Fenty concealer. I'm gonna mix a couple shades just to get some brightness. My favorite Fenty concealer. I love the way it blends out. I just mix 410 and 385 W just to get like a nice balance of brightness. I want it to be a little brightening, but not too bright. I also do love the Fenty foundation stick by the way, but since the Ami color is new and I've been really, really into it lately, I figured I would show it for this video. I figured I would use it today. This newer and I've been literally like obsessed with it. We're gonna set with Fenty's Cashew. I haven't used this powder in a while, but it used to be one of my favorite setting powders. So I'm excited to use it. I'm starting with a very light layer and I'm gonna add more if I need to, just so that I have more control. And yeah, I love this shade. It looked natural, but it's still brightening. I really like that. I forgot how good this powder looked. <laughs> I haven't used it in so long. I really forgot how pretty it looked. We're gonna use Paul McGrath Bronzer in Bronze Mahogany. I actually started my brows. I don't have any brow products that I'm currently using, but I do love the Fenty brow pencils. I just don't have any on hand, so I figured I would just do it off camera. I'm using Anastasia's Brow Freeze right now, so to set my brows in place, and then I'm gonna go over it with the Refi Brow Pencil. But like I said, I really do love the Fenty brow pencil as well. For blush, Zanessa Marex. Oh, I love these blushes. They're so good. This Balm formula 
this yummy skin balm formula is one of my favorites the formula is amazing i love the face products the blushes everything i try from this formula i think is just so good and this is kind of like a cream to powder almost it's so very pigmented but very very pretty this is prima donna and she has a few other shades I just love how beautiful and pigmented these are i also love the juvia's Place blushes they're so pigmented if you're looking for pigment that's where you need to be at i am going to go over this with my foundation brush to just blend everything together just to make it more seamless blend it all together and the formula for this blush one thing i love about it is that you could use it over powder and it just it still looks good like it doesn't look messy or just like yucky it looks really nice so love the formula I absolutely lied to y'all. I found my Fenty Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade Brow MB. No, it's not the shade. <laughs> what is the shade of this? Black Brown. So this is what I'm going to use today. I'm going to fill my brows in with this. I had no idea I still had this brow pencil. One of my favorite things about the Fenty Pencil is the brush. I love the little brush that it has. I just think it's so cute. <laughs> I used the shade 410 under my brows because I wanted it to look more natural, but I definitely wanted to pop at the same time. For lip liner, I'm using the Lip Bars Lip Liner in the shade Straight Living, one of my favorite browns. By the way, I have on the Fenty Lip Butter Lip Mask. That's what I have on right now. I put this on before doing my makeup. But for my lippy of the day, I'm going to use the K-Skin Lip Balm. I love these. These have SPF 30 as well, so it's going to help protect your lips. I'm using the shade Ivy Rose. It's like a rosy, nudie rose color. I also have the shade Nude Tang. It's also really pretty. So, But this one I feel like is going to match my blush. These are so glossy. Do so you see the material? Like this is so glossy, so juicy, and I, I love it. I love lip balms because you could apply them as many times as you want throughout the day and you don't feel like your lips are dry or chapped. I have been really into brown mascara lately, but I don't have any brown ones today. So today I'm gonna use the Fenty. This is one of my favorite mascaras. It's so amazing. I love the brush, love the pigment it gives. This in a dark brown would be amazing. Like I need this in a dark brown. I'm doing more of a natural everyday look. I'm just gonna use bronzer for my eyeshadow. So I'm using the Pop McGrath bronzer in my crease. If I were to use an eyeshadow palette, it, it would definitely be a Pet McGrath eyeshadow palette. She, her eyeshadow palettes are 10 out of 10. Like she just, they're, they're amazing. Her blushes are also really nice. I love the blushes. Uh, for a little razzle dazzle, I'm going to add a little bit of this Danessa Myricks Color Fix Cream. Now, when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. This stuff is very, very pigmented. You don't need much just a drop i wanted to add just a little pop of shimmer i guess so i'm gonna add so i'm just gonna take my brush and wipe this on just a little bit you if you're doing an evening look or you just want to have more pigment you could always add more but i just want a wash of sparkle i guess this is so pretty, so pretty. 
this is what I meant to do this side I did add a little bit more than I wanted to so I'm gonna just try to take away some of this eye I want it to look like this very minimal almost unnoticeable I'm gonna take a brush without any product and it's gonna go over this eye to just try to take away some of that product okay I think that's better I'm gonna push in any excess powder dust the rest off so I just finished my makeup I need to literally run out the house I've loved these products individually but I've never worn them all together seeing them together tea I love the way they look together they definitely complement each other anyways I need to run to the nail salon get my nails done I will talk to you guys in my next video bye thanks for watching